A Southern California thug thought that he had gotten lucky picking the perfect victim when he smashed a window and started to loot a truck Too bad for him, he wouldn't feel very lucky for long In fact, he was left downright horrified when he turned around It all started at about 1 a.m. when an El Cajun man was awoken from his sleep Come to find out, his dogs were barking, prompting him to become a bit more than concerned Doing as anyone would, the homeowner looked out his front window to investigate, and that's when things got a little bit worse One can only imagine what went through his head when he saw a man standing by his truck Unsure of what the situation may bring, the homeowner grabbed a gun from within his house and started to make his way outside However, things would take a shocking turn as he heard a glass window break, which immediately put a little spring in the homeowner's step, according to Fox 5 San Diego He looked out his window and saw an individual standing by truck, said El Cajun Police Lt. Walt Miller Concerned it was being broken into, he went to his bedroom, retrieved a firearm, and went outside to confront whoever was outside by the truck Finally making his way outside, he confronted the apparent thief who was left a little more than horrified to turn around and see the vehicle's owner standing there with a gun Rather than just try to flee, though, this thief apparently had something else in mind He confronted the suspect, a confrontation between the two of them ensued We're not sure what that was, said Miller, according to CBS 8 The homeowner fired at least three shots from his handgun, at least one hit the suspect Unfortunately, things were far from over as the bleeding suspect hopped in his car and desperately tried to get away Too bad for him, things wouldn't quite work out that way as he smashed into two other cars on his way out before crashing for good in front of a house just down the street Police would later pronounce the man dead at the scene after opening the car door Apparently, the homeowner was one hell of a shot and made sure that this thief wasn't going to victimize anyone ever again As for the police, they're using the situation as a warning to others who might be thinking of doing the same We would always encourage them homeowners to call the police department first, but nothing prohibits them from doing that shooting a robber on their property, said El Cajun Police Lt. Walt Miller This is the United States. He added. There are a lot of homeowners that own firearms So, that's always a possibility that a homeless suspect may be breaking into, or a vehicle a suspect may be breaking into, they should take into account a firearm may be in that person's house For now, police have not filed any charges against the homeowner, but that could be subject to change as they continue the investigation The homeowner is cooperative with us, and we are continuing the investigation at this time, Lt. Miller explained Fortunately, it looks like everything is going to play out the way it should, with the homeowner successfully having defended his life and property and a bad guy dead, thanks to the homeowner exercising their Second Amendment rights In the meantime, you have liberals wanting to take guns away from law-abiding citizens like this
Maybe next time they want to call for gun control, they should think about the thousands of cases like this that happen every day where, if the victim didn't have a gun, they'd likely be seriously victimized, hurt, or even killed. It's time for the left to stop acting in the interest of criminals and start defending our constitutionally protected rights that are there for a very important reason.